Well, I thought I'd do another video. I was motivated to actually make one. Thanks to all you guys' input and comments in the last video. It was motivating, to say the least. Appreciate that. Kind of hard to keep track of where I've uploaded this content to different social media platforms. I'm trying to manage my business, my house, all that stuff, my personal life. But I thought you showed. I thought I'd show you the exciting portion of how a liner happens, and then maybe we'll cover the nitty gritty details in another video or two or three or what have you. But anyways, the gist of it is, got an old pipe, put a new liner in it. You know, don't dig it up. But here we gotta actually dig it up. Oh look, air pressure, nice. Let the wheel spin, blow it in. This is the exciting part, man. So many steps have led up to this point here in particular. There. I have a mark there. on the tube that just kind of ended that pipe. I had it set. Now let's roll it in. Got a lot to cover to get to this point. But uh, again, this is the exciting part. My heart is pounding. The clock is ticking. And away we go. So it... Oh, sweet. It's already going. There it goes. It inverts it into the old pipe. What does that mean? basically turns it inside out as air inflates it into the pipe as it rolls it along pushes it in yeah yeah. and you can see the wheel spinning going which in. means it's actually going in nice go. So here's another extra step that I don't do anymore. I've kind of figured out how to do it better. And that is, take the tape off the end of the liner as I'm pushing it in, as I'm inflating it in. The reason I put tape on it in the first place is to hold the epoxy in while I was saturating the rest of the liner with it. But uh, I no longer do that step. So I can just continue on my merry way and keep inflating into the pipe without messing around doing this. You'll see I'm kind of trying to pull it back so I can get to the tape. But um, soon enough I'll figure out how to do it. And um, we'll be... We rolling. Okay. Must have got my hand saturated with this epoxy, so I can grab one of these Hercules wipes to really clean it off, so I can actually have some grip on my gloves. Cause man, this stuff is not really sticky when it's wet, but it's so greasy. So here we go. I'm gonna show you here in a few seconds. I take the nozzle off, and what that'll allow me to do is reach in and grab the end of the line. Or oh, you know what? I forgot. I should have done by now, but I profusely apologize for this terrible camera angle. I'm not wearing a GoPro, but it's very similar. It's called the DJI Osmo. And uh, yeah, I have the camera angle. Pretty terrible set. So here I am pulling that tape off again. That's just to seal the end of it so the epoxy don't squeeze out everywhere when I'm transporting it to this inversion drum. Anyways, hurry, hurry, right? Close it back up, get the air pressure on, blow the rest of it in the line, and... Uh, yeah, yeah, fun part. Now as I'm doing this, I'm watching the pressure gauge build, which means it's still inflating the liner into the old pipe. And then, as I keep my eye on the gauge, the gauge, the pressure will drop, which means the liner is going in, using there up the go. pressure. There it goes, watch it, watch go. it, boom. It's done, which means the end of the liner is opened up. Pressure has dropped out completely. It's in. It's in. Yes. Look, and then epoxy through the cracks. Yeah, there's some yes. epoxy coming through the old cracks of yes, the cast yes, iron yes. pipe, which means that pipe is long overdue for getting replaced. Alright. Alright, then after this is to get it ready. To cure and harden and set in place, I have already loaded up this uh, calibration tube or cal tube as we call it, which will invert inside the liner and we'll get hot water pumping through it. That's another video in itself and we'll cure over the course of, you know, like hour and a half or two and then we'll have our new pipe inside the old. No, 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 no. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I can laugh at myself now. Let's go. Get your head in the game. So it's 
and I've tried to explain this to people and it's really kind of hard to explain how it works without actually seeing it in action, right? So this is how it starts, right? You fold it over back on itself, clamp it to the nozzle, and basically the inner part of the liner rolls out through itself and then inside out. And it's wild to, to think about, but it's so cool. What am I doing? Grabbing a pair of scissors. There we go. And some tape. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hurry slowly, right? But um, actually, the stressful part is over. The liner is in. I know it went in because of the air pressure. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the stressful part of it right now. The exciting part of it is right now. And um, yeah, so many details leading up to this point. Tell you what. Uh, maybe I should have started off by explaining how this job came about, but uh, they had to dig up that trench, as you saw in this video, because my camera inspection showed the pipe itself sagging in the ground, holding a bunch of water. So you really can't do much about that except dig it up and put new stone and, and uh, rerun new pipe. So that's what I had to do. Plus, the electric company, at some point, or a contractor, run some conduit, some 3-inch PVC conduit, broke the piece of cast iron, replaced it with a little piece of PVC without stone and none of that. And um, so basically it led to this where they had to dig, had to replace a chunk of PVC, and then I lined the rest of it going underneath the sidewalk uh, air conditioning unit and the slab of the building. So here I am just inserting the calibration tube, which will not only set the pipe to the inside, uh, the liner rather to the inside of the old pipe but it will allow me to pump hot water into it and cure the whole liner itself now as it's inflating and inverting this calibration tube inside the pipe it's actually pulling along with it a um a lay flat hose as we call it anyways it's like a one inch in diameter flat hose so it can make around bends and then when the air or water pressure inflates it It'll open up and allow water to travel to the far end of the liner, circulate back to this inversion drum through the water heater, and it'll heat it all up to, you know, 160, 180 degrees and cure it. So there, exciting part's over. Um, I meant this as like a little bit of a teaser or a... That's it. We're in. Prequel to um, kind, of, uh, kind of what led me to start on this whole journey. Very cool stuff, tell you what. Can't wait to show you the rest of it. It actually made it around that that double bullhorn.